Yo, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to be telling you guys a little personal story of mine that I hope that it's food for thought and it'll help you out in the long run. I'm going to tell you a little personal story about mine about like, about like two years ago. I actually wanted to stop barbering. I didn't want to do it no more. I wasn't getting enough clientele that I wanted it. I wanted to and I was in a dark spot in my life and uh, it was actually one person that kind of convinced me. It wasn't one person but he actually kind of helped me a lot. It was Jorge. He, I, I told him that I didn't want to barber no more and uh, he told me, he said, dude, you have so much talent, do not quit. And at that time, I, I didn't listen to him. You know, I was in my own you know, feelings like, man, I, didn't, I don't want to do this no more. It's just not for me no more. So I thought about it and I gave it a try. I was like, you know what, let me just stick to this and see how this turns out. So then, look at me now. All because I listened to one person and their advice to give me, it changed my world completely. Everybody at Velocity, um, Memo, Jarrell, Ramon, Stan Oda, Uncle Kev, and also 360 Cheesy. They all helped me out so much. Words that I can't even describe, man. They are true brothers to me. Um, these years have been great, you know. Uh, we built a bond over these years. Um, especially me, Jorge, Jarrell, Ramon, and Memo. We all worked at the same shop before, so we kind of had like a little bond, but even now it's way better, y'all. And they're like brothers to me, and I want to trade them for the world. And they stuck with me through these years, so I'm gonna stick with them through these years, you know? So the moral of the story is, y'all, is do not give up on your passion. Do not give up on something that you love to do. It might not, it might not be like paying the bills yet. It might not be succeeding yet. But in the long run, dude, y'all, it is going to help. I can guarantee y'all that if you work hard at something, you're going to succeed. I can guarantee you all that I've seen 360 Jeezy do that. You know, he's he worked hard. He worked his his butt off. He worked hard, and look where he's at now. And I actually got to witness all that. You know, and look at him now. He's like one of the most viewed YouTube barbers on on YouTube. So, and and he's an icon. And I actually spoke to him about this. You know, the other day I was like, you know, the reason why all these little kids want to cut hair. He's like, nah, I was like, it's because of you. It's because of you that all these kids want to cut hair now. And it's growing the industry even much higher and higher and higher. And this is, we're, we're taking over, you know? Like I said, the moral of the story, y'all, is don't give up on something that you love to do. I didn't, look at me now. Just keep working, keep working hard, hard and it'll and succeed and it'll, it'll, it'll pay off in the long run, y'all. So to begin with, I'm going to be combing my client's hair. It's always good to comb the hair before you actually cut the hair so that way it'll be nice and smooth. So on this first step, I'm going to be using my wall seniors, my cordless wall seniors and I'm going to be using my number one guard and I'm going with the grain. And why I'm doing that is I'm just trying to get off the hair, you know, the hair that's bulking out on the sides, that little dark spot. I'm just trying to lay it down so that way if you go with the grain, the hair lays down perfectly and I can blend into it so much easier. Now that I laid my hair down with that number one guard, I'm going to be taking my Andes Slimline Pros and I'm going to be making my first ball line. So I'm going to be starting from the, the temple. I'm not going to be doing any uh, side hooks or anything. So I'm, back, I'm actually dropping it lower, kind of towards the occipital bone. I'm kind of making that mid drop fade look. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making my, my first ball line. I'm going to be making it as straight as I can do it. So that way my guidelines will be set in straight also.
for the first step of this mid drop fade, I have my wall seniors and I have the lever all the way open. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna make the first guide line about half an inch long to a quarter of an inch. Uh, make sure that that guide line is straight and when you get to the whatever that you want to stop at where your guide line you want it to stop at you just flick out you don't really want to make a hard guideline you don't want to just set it in and just make that hard to take out so basically what I do at the top is I flick out from it so that way when I do my next guideline it's not going to be set in stone up in there you know what I'm saying So for my next step, I have my number one guard, and we make another guy line about, let me guess, half an inch long. <laughs> um, so basically, like I said, just flick out, really, and as you can see, it's not really leaving any hard weight because, you know, obviously I did that one with the grain in the beginning of the video, so usually a one with the grain, and I, if you do a one against the grain, it's really not going to make any hard lines. So basically what I'm doing is I have my one guard, and I'm just flicking out half, half an inch. So for this next step, I have my zero guard. I'm gonna make the lever all the way open. So I'm blending down. The way I do this is that I, obviously I have the lever all the way open. I'm just taking as much dark, dark spots as possible. Um, it really is, it gets easier in time. Some people might not know how to blend down, but honestly it just takes a lot of time and practice to do it. So what I'm doing is I just have my lever all the way open. I'm taking out all the dark spots. So then when I take enough dark spots out, I close the lever just a little bit more, and then when I want it to get even closer, I close it even more. So basically, it is going to be open, close, halfway, open, close, halfway. You play with it a lot to make sure that it gives it that blurry look that you want it to be, and honestly, it really it's not that hard to do. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it just takes time and practice. So once I'm done blending down with my zero guard, I'm gonna be taking off my guard and I have my lever all the way closed. So what I'm doing is I'm using my corners a lot. I'm not really using my whole blade just cause I don't wanna make another line. So I am going to be flicking out. Uh, what I mean by flicking out is that you just make that, like you take out that little, that little line and you just flick out with the corners. Uh, once you see that, that line disappearing, you go halfway and then you go open so basically you want to play with that lever a lot to make it the fade that you want it to look honestly you got to play with it um everybody has their own technique and have everybody has their own way of blending um i hope that you guys find yours and i hope that you guys have like learn from my you know my methods so like again close halfway open this play with the levers a lot So I'm gonna be taking the hairs that are poking out. I don't really want to have long hairs on the hairline so that way when I line up the hair, it's gonna be hard to make that line. So I'm going to one with the grain. I'm just taking all the hairs. And basically what it's doing is it just cuts it all at an even length and it lays it down. So when I hit that line, it will just be perfect. So time for this lineup part. So I have my my Andis T outliners. So what I'm doing is it's a little blurry right here, but <laughs> just bear with me. Uh, I'm starting from the middle and I'm making my way to the right side. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm setting my base in the middle, so that way when I line up from the right side and when I line up to the left side, it's all gonna meet up in that middle. So that way one side won't be higher than the other. So I always tell you this in my videos to start from the middle and then work your way to the right back to the middle and then to the left back to the middle so that way it all meets up
I'm gonna be spraying enhancements to my client's hair. He obviously really doesn't need it, but I wanna show you guys every little detail I do into my haircut so that way when you guys try it on your own, you guys will be professionals at it. Um, I'm gonna be putting the, the airbrush in the description below. I'm gonna be putting the airbrush in the airbrush uh, gun. So I hope you guys can order yours. Um, so that way, when you guys, by the time y'all have it, y'all be clean at it, you know? So. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there it goes. And uh, make sure you put the thumbs up. And also, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, it means a lot to me, y'all. And um, shout out to the man that makes my beats. His name is Bryce, his Instagram will be in the description. And also, his YouTube link will be in the description. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram, y'all. And uh, take care, and also don't forget to subscribe either, y'all, okay? Okay?